Hey everybody, uh, my name is Colin Way, we're in my workshop. Um, today I want to have a look at the AC250 WBS. What you can expect to sharpen straight out of the box. Okay, so the machine comes fully loaded really. We've got our honing wheel this side, we've got our main sharpening wheel on this side, and obviously the bars to mount all the jigs. Now, it comes with our scissor jig, it comes with the axe jig, it comes with the straight edge jig for all your chisels and um, uh, plain irons, that sort of thing, um, but also comes with two knife jigs as well. So I'm gonna take you through those jigs, how you set them up, how you use them, um, and refurbish some of my old tools. Okay, so we're going to start with the square edge jig. It's a very, very simple piece of apparatus. Basically, the jig itself um, has the two holes here, um, and that fits nicely onto the bar and slides across that bar as you sharpen. Now, to set it up, I've got two chisels. One I've already sharpened here, and we'll have a look at that one later. Um, but then one for the demonstration um, is this one. So it's one of my old carpentry tools. You can see that it's uh, um, a little bit uh, rusty in places. We're going to clean that up. Um, the machine also comes with our setting guide, so the, um, the, the angle guide. So on it, you'll clearly see um, the types of things that we can sharpen. Um, I'm going to go to um, this 30 degree angle here. And 30 degrees, if I find that on the jig, is this one. And that matching up with my um, chisel is perfect. So what I need to do now is make sure that as I sharpen, my angle is set onto the tool. So let's set it up and start. So first of all, you'll see the two clamps. We have our straight edge in here, and I'm gonna push, put the chisel nice and flat against that square edge and tighten up. And we can tighten both sides just to make sure that's really, really tight. Chisel's nice and firm against that square edge. The next thing I need to do is just adjust this or loosen the, the bars here. Um, and we're gonna look for that 30 degrees. So 30 degrees up here, so it's this angle. So what I need to do, place that one on the bar, and then in turn, make sure that that angle is the same. So we need to come up a little bit higher. We've got a nice little fine adjuster there. A little bit higher. another check. I want to be nice and close. There we are. I think we're almost there. I'm just going to come down a little bit. Now let's have a go at that one. You can of course do a dummy run first. Maybe even just, just a score and double check. See where you're sharpening and we're in the right place. Okay, now we're gonna have the stone running toward us in this case, it'll run both ways. So there we are running towards us. I've already filled the water trough up. And it's just a case of very gently running back and forward. I'm side on just to show you what's going on here, but of course you can come around here and put close fingers on. Quick look and see where we are. Yeah, that's all ready putting a nice edge on that. So I'm just going to continue with this one for a moment. And it won't take long. All I'm going to do after this is a very slight home. Okay, so we're already getting that lovely edge. I don't know whether you can see that. Okay, so my next job, let's say we've got that nice, nicely sharpened, um, and already that's, that's a nice clean edge. I'm gonna use this honing side here. So a little bit of honing paste, and that's a leather wheel on there. 
So a little bit of honing paste. Do this without the uh, machine running. I found this out to my cost that if you try and do it with the machine running, you're gonna get honing paste all over the place. So just a little bit there. That's enough. And then we can hone away. You can, of course, bring the bar over, set that up in exactly the same way, or you can freehand hone. It's exact, entirely up to you. It depends how confident you are with this. So a nice little hone, that's gonna give us a nice little glaze, a shine. There we go. And then very carefully, very carefully, just take off that excess. Okay, we've got that nice keen edge. I'm not going to try and shave my arm with this one. Um, take my word for it. I did with the other one and it works really, really well. So there we are. Very, very simple to set up. It wouldn't take me long, probably about five minutes per chisel to be able to sharpen that to a, um, a really high um, a high sh um, degree of sharpness. So that's that's all ready to go. Okay, so now we're moving on to the scissor jig. So I'm literally taking one of our pairs of scissors from the kitchen, um, give it a little bit of love, a bit of TLC. So let's pop it in the jig. Uh, very simple, like the square edge jig again, it's, it's just a couple of thumb screws to tighten. I wanna make sure I can get the whole of that blade, including the tip. So line them up, screw them down. Now this one works in conjunction with the flat base. So we're looking here. Okay, it's got a nice non-slip surface. This one's going to slide on the bar again. And we've got an angle. I've got an angle set for me here um, on this setup jig. And this angle says it's it's around about 60 degrees for my scissors and shears. So I'm going to find 60 degree on the angle checker here. So I know that that little angle there is 60 degrees. So if I set my table up to that 60 degrees, we're going to drop it down a little bit as well. So 60 degrees to my jig. There we go. Lock everything in. And then the flat section of your scissor jig then just rests on that flat section. Now, before I start, I just want to make sure that even though I set to I've set to the um, guides that it's actually right for my pair of scissors. And that's not too bad. There we are, so let's start sharpening. Okay, again, we're gonna have the water running towards us. The stone running towards us, rather. And you keep that flat on the, the rest. Now with a pair of scissors, there's not a huge amount um, of actual cutting edge there, so it doesn't take too long at all. So that's nice and ready. Let's just have a look and see how they cut. I've already done the first edge um, earlier, so carefully take that away. And you can always tell when a pair of scissors cuts because you get that, that nice uh, sort of grasp as you cut through. That's perfect. Okay, ever so quick and simple that one. I want to show you the, the cutting edge, but I won't be able to get it on the camera. But believe me, that's a really nice sharp edge. Ever so, ever so quick. I've literally got this machine out of the box probably about an hour ago and started playing with it. Um, so for me, it's new and it's, you know, I picked it up fairly quickly. Okay, so that was the, um, the scissor jig. Okay, so our next jig is the knife jig. So this is a small knife jig. Um, there's two jigs in the kit. You've got a larger one um, for your big kitchen knives. And for this sort of size of knife, which I'm gonna do now, this one's ideal. You've got the adjustable heel here, so you can 
unscrew that, just make the heel a little bit longer for um, a, a different angle. But I want to close that right the way up. I'm going to position my knife. I put a little mark on the knife, so just so I can keep the same um, angle on both sides. And now we need to bring the bar right the way up. At the moment is way too low, so let's get that bar right the way up. And again, on the little setter jig, you've got the diagrams and the angles as to where to set. This knife is slightly different, so I'm going to eyeball this one. So that heel now goes onto the bar. I want to make sure that's nice. And it's just so I can twist that around, that happened to be bang on the right place right first time. So um, usual thing, we'll have the um, water or the wheel spinning toward us. And then it's just the case. of just moving that knife to, to its shape, making sure you're sharpening the tip. Before, put in a little mark, like I've just said, turning the piece over. And I've just put that mark on there with a little um, felt tip. Turning the knife over. Looking for your mark. And we're going to tighten up again. And then literally repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so lastly, we're looking at the, probably the, the simplest jig of all. This is the axe jig. And if you're anything like me, my axes get treated really badly. Um, they hit stones and all sorts of things. I've, ha I've started this one. You can see it's got a nice shiny edge so far. Um, but to set this up, it couldn't be easier. At the moment, the, um, the bar's a little bit too high, so we're gonna drop it down. I have preset my, um, my little thumb screw here. So we'll pop that down, tighten everything up. That fits on. And you simply pop that into the holder and there it rests on the wheel. So it couldn't be simpler, like I say. Let's turn it on. We're going to have the, the stone running toward the cutting edge now. And we're going to swap edges. So we're going to rotate round. Once you've done enough on one side, you can turn him over. So handle over the other side. Hook it in, and away we go again. And you're literally just rotating around, keeping that edge nice and clean. And this is taking me a little bit longer because of the amount of steel in the edge of the of the hatchet. So this is probably taking me about, to get to this stage, about 10 minutes so far. But I'll only do this probably once every sort of three or four months, if I'm honest. As long as it's kept sharp, you don't need to reshape it. There we are. That's the axe jig. Okay guys, so there we are. That's five jigs, five tools sharpened. It probably took me around about half an hour to actually sharpen them. Um, I had an hour play before. But from now on, I can use this and I can refurbish all of my tools in the workshop. So there we are, that's the AC250 WBS Whetstone Sharpening System.